Three right. of the dead were post office employees. Ridgewood police say Joseph Harris is under arrest after a four-hour standoff at the Ridgewood post office. They say he was heavily armed. The trail, two dead in his Wayne home. Harris's home in Patterson was found to be wired to blow up. The center of the bloodshed was Ridgewood, where our New Jersey bureau chief, Jay Scott, is standing by with a live report. Jay. Well, Roz, that former postal worker is being held at a million dollars bail in this New Jersey murder spree. That, as you said, began at Wayne this morning, but then moved on here to Ridgewood, where the suspect was brought to the police station later on in the day. The police say that he was armed with everything from a Mac-10 machine gun to an Uzi submachine gun and was apparently out for revenge for his firing from the post office. The bloody post office standoff began just after 2 this morning. Police say that a heavily armed gunman in ninja garb opened fire on a postal truck driver in the basement employee locker room. The employee was not hit, but called police who surrounded the building after a pipe bomb was thrown at the first two cops arriving on the scene. Police would not learn that two postal employees had been killed until almost 7 this morning when the gunman surrendered. He is identified as 35-year-old Joseph Harris. Police say that he is a former postal worker who was fired from the Ridgewood Post Office last year after refusing counseling and evaluation. The police say the gunman had apparently broken into the post office and laid in wait to ambush arriving employees one by one. Forty workers were scheduled to arrive at the post office to do shift work. The post office was closed until 2 a.m. I think that uh, Mr. Harris came prepared uh, to die. That's my personal opinion. Uh, there is a number of... Um, weaponry, explosive devices, and automatic weapons. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. He had a gas mask on. He was in paramilitary clothing. If this had not been handled properly, um, it's my opinion that there could have been a lot more dead employees in that post office as they reported for work. A Ridgewood postal supervisor with whom Harris had quarreled on the job and reportedly threatened was found dead in her apartment in Wayne, along with her boyfriend who had been shot once in the head. 30-year-old Carol Ott was found stabbed to death and nude from the waist down. The boyfriend is identified as Cornelius Caston. Police theorize both were killed at their home just before Harris traveled to Ridgewood. The two postal employees who died at Ridgewood are identified as 63-year-old Donald McNaught and 59-year-old Joseph Vanderpau. Who's got the four of them? Don, Joe, mm -hmm. Carol. Grieving postal employees gathered at Ridgewood Police Headquarters in total shock. On the uh, this is, uh, I mean, this has nothing to do with, you know, with work. I mean, it's uh, the act of a deranged individual. The bodies of the two victims in Wayne stayed inside this house for most of the day as the bomb squad worked to defuse what they feared were explosive devices around the bodies. None were found. Bomb experts worked at the Ridgewood Post Office on trip-wired hand grenades for most of the day as the bodies of victims stayed in place there. And at the Harris home in Patterson, bomb experts searched for explosive devices as well. Police tell us just a few minutes ago that suspect Harris left two notes at two of the separate crime scenes tonight. They will not discuss the specifics in that notes. In those notes, thus we have no clue as to why the suspect chose today for his bloody rampage. We're live in Ridgewood, and I'm Jay Scott, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. A grisly crime makes you wonder who could do such a thing. 35-year-old Joseph Harris is in custody. Police say he is the killer. But who is he? Carlos Granda traveled to Patterson, where Harris lives, hoping to find the answer to that question, because that alone could lead to more important answers. Like why? Carlos? Well, Greg, as you can see behind me, firefighters and police are still here at Joseph Harris's home in Patterson. They have been very careful during their search out of fear that there could still be explosives inside, but fortunately the ones they found earlier today have been the only ones they have found here. Now, detectives say they have few details on Harris after he was fired from the post office about a year and a half ago. As a matter of fact, some neighbors we spoke with say they thought he was still working. He was leaving here every morning. Well, police are now trying to figure out what he's been doing during that time. Police are still trying to piece together the life of Joseph Harris and what led to this morning's violence. Police say he was a Navy veteran who received an honorable discharge. He was heavily armed when he was arrested. One neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says Harris would always dress in combat boots and army fatigues and that he had a secret entrance to his home at 215 Derham Avenue. When police arrived here, they found he had booby-trapped his door with explosives. Friends say this doesn't sound like the Joseph Harris they know. Kind of is out, you know, we're on the corner to the park, you know. We always talk about, you know, our cars and things like that, you know. 
Mm -hmm. It's really surprising, you know? I never knew it was something like this. It was out of character. That's all I have. I, I didn't expect it. It was out of character. Post office officials say back in 1984, Harris was reprimanded for harassing other employees. In February of 1990, his former supervisor, Carol Ott, filed a complaint with the Ridgewood Police Department alleging Harris had threatened to kill her. Two months later, in April of 1990, Harris was fired. Carol Ott's neighbors, meanwhile, are shocked at how calculated Harris's alleged plan was. They say Ott and her boyfriend, Cornelius Caston Jr., had moved into this home in Wayne about two years ago. They were quiet people, you know, and never bothered anybody. Used to walk the dog out here and out on the golf course. You know, I'd wave to him or say hello to him. But we, you know, never became friendly where we knew one another. And police so far have not released any details of what, if anything, they have found here in Harris's home. And we're live in Patterson, New Jersey, Carlos Grana, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Recapping today's developments, four people are dead tonight, victims of one man who wielded guns and knives and left a trail of death. Police have 35-year-old Joseph Harris, a former postal worker from Patterson, New Jersey, in custody. He's been charged with murder and kidnapping. 